So we need to get Papa. We, we gotta get all our swimmers on because we're gonna have a pool party for the, the night before we go back to school. Yay, back to school. My daughter is going into third grade and my son is going into fifth and then we have the two-year-old. So in here is where I'm going to be um, having my daughter do third grade. She took her chair into the other room. Um, this I'm having the, the two-year-old and her. I made this quilt actually out of all her baby from zero to two years old. These were all her outfits. Some of her outfits I picked and made a quilt out of which was kind of fun. And that I knit for the baby. That's one of his baby blankets I knit. So anyways, this is his, her, my going into grade three, her desk, her school desk. And um, so we use the Abeka program. So she'll, we'll have the teacher um, put the DVD in and the teacher will come up, you know, for the first day, um, every day throughout the year. And there's 170 days. And then I have marked them off in the calendar. But here is like her spelling book. And then tomorrow she has, I went and looked in, this is um, the teacher's manual and it tells me everything that she has going on that day. So what I have is her math, her language, she has cursive and then she has um, science. And in her science, what I do is I just write the little thing that she's gonna read page two to five and answer um, the, comprehension questions in the book so that's going to be her first day of science and tomorrow she has an art project I, I looked ahead and she has this art project that she's going to need push pins for and that's what I had bought the push pins at the grocery store for and so I'm going to put this stuff out on her desk I'm going to it's going to kind of be like I always like there to be a couple of presents for the kids which is very tiny this year but it's still, um, it's still exciting for them. So they've got a mouse pad, and then she has a new book here. And she can, I'll let her unwrap the mouse pad because that could be a fun thing to do. There's her spelling book that she has tomorrow. And this is her, re her first reading book for grade three. And it all correlates with the teacher. So I'm gonna put that mouse pad back, and then, like I said, I use these little stickies, sticky pads, to also like in here it says um, lesson one read page one through five and I put that in her book as well so and then this will be there for her so she can wake up in the morning and see that she has some new things I showed this last year in my um, how I organize my homeschool video so this is the calendar for just this month and what I do is see there's lesson one that's Tuesday first day of school and Papa's birthday and today is Labor Day and it's this calendar I had bought at Walmart two years ago now. Um, no, I'm sorry, at Target. So, and I, I erase it and fill it in. I, these, these, they're like little peel off sticker things. Anyways, and I just do, um, I, I make my calendar at the beginning of every month. I like to keep it really simple this year. Um, I used to do the binder and all these things. And this year I opted not to rip the pages out. So literally when it's math time, she's gonna come in her math book and go to her lesson one and her teacher will tell her you know do lesson one in her math book and that's what grade three the beginning of the year looks like so and it gets hard pretty fast in Rebecca. she's gonna start those times tables she's gonna drive right into them so and she they do full-on cursive i really love the Rebecca program so far so good Okay, so I want to show you what else I am doing for the first day of school. We're going to have a barbecue outside with veggie dogs, marshmallows, and that's what's going to be for dinner. So we're going to do it on the barbecue while we swim. And while we're out there, we are going to make these um, kids' stepping stones. My kids were given these for their birthday in May when we arrived here from some really good friends here in Texas. And there's three of them, one for each of them, and I'm going to use them as the first day of school. So I'm going to have their name, write their name on them, do their handprint, 
and then write first day of first grade or third grade, first day of fifth grade, and preschool. I'll write for you. Yeah? Are you gonna do what? Uh -huh. Yeah? You've got passies going for, for miles here. What's going on? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say bonjour. We're teaching Nanda bonjour. to speak English. Bonjour. We're, Nanda is speaking English and French. Yeah? Bonjour. <laughs> so this is Mitch's school desk. And him, it's the same thing. Um, I look through what you know he has that day and he does have language arts math and this is his spelling book it's pretty much the same thing what I do at the beginning of every school year before we start I map out all the days that we're gonna do school um, we usually last year we tried to do school four days a week it's only gonna work for about the first five weeks of school and then we're gonna go to six days because it looks like we're gonna go to Hawaii in June. So this is the beauty of homeschooling, let me tell you. So this is tomorrow, lesson one. So I write L1, L2, and I do them in pencil, cause it, you know, I gotta rearrange things. So this is September, right? I gotta rearrange things to get the schedule right. And um, so there it is, lesson one through 16 in September, and then, a look at that our 17 year wedding anniversary on the first of October and then lesson 17 through 33 and then they still have two more Fridays off four days a week and then mid October is when they start five days a week um, I would I would have liked to go longer but because we're gonna go to Hawaii in June it, we're not gonna do that so here's five days a week um, all of November they don't have any time off. And so then December, they have school until the 16th. And then they have no school for, um, we're gonna start the weekend of the 16th, December 16th. So December 17th, they'll have off all those whole two weeks for Lord Jesus's birthday, for Christmas and New Year's. And then we will start school, I think the day after New Year's, yep. So there's New Year's Day, and then we'll start school on that Monday. And then June, I mean January, so there's still, see we're in lesson 66, January 2nd. And then all the way, there's 170 lessons. So in January, they have no days off. There's my sister's birthday, my dad's birthday. And then in February, I'm gonna give them Valentine's Day off, but, they other than that in February they have no days off Monday through Friday they'll do school there's their Nona's birthday let's see and then March I think they have no days off in March so five days a week then April there is they do five days a week no days off and then May so they don't get a spring break because it's both their birthday in May. It's Nadia's birthday on the 7th and Nitch's birthday on the 10th. So they get that entire week off in May. They, we call it birthday week. And so they'll do school the first week of May. No school the whole second week of May from the 6th to the 13th. And then the 3rd, 4th, and all of the rest of May they'll do school. And then their last day of school is June 2nd. So the last week of May is the 29th to June 2nd. And it looks like we may go to Hawaii around the 4th of June and be there for the whole month. So we have G all of June, except for we do school till the 2nd, all of June, July, and August off school. And we won't start again until all of August off school. And we won't start until the day after Labor Day next year, 2017. It'll be the 5th of September, first day of school, grade six and grade four for the kids. So that's what our school year calendar is gonna look like. And then as for their school schedule, I made these on Friday, like three days ago. So I went online. Oh my darling, what are you doing? Mm. You filling that up with water? Are you doing Arctic? 
Yeah, you doing our cheek? Oh, thank you. Howdy bow. Okay, no more water for you. Okay, so I made these schedules on, well, let's see. I must have made them on, yeah, I made them on Friday. And so on Saturday they started, okay? So this is kind of, I just went online and Googled, you know, schedules and then I found something that I was able to type in and um, it already had this little thing here. So this is how their schedule works, okay, for this year. I have done so many different kinds of these kinds of things every year. I kind of grow with them um, to where they're at. Um, it was pretty amazing. This year, my son, he decided, he, he told me, oh, this is what I'd like to do within my schedule. And if I do all that, then um, he wants to be able to be online with his friends, talking to his friends from, well, one is still in Hawaii, the other one is in Oregon. and. Um, and they play games on the computer together and talk to each other and they're just having a really fun time. They grew up for the first seven years of their life all together, living right across the street from each other. So if he gets this all done, then he can do that. So, and he's so motivated to do it. Let me tell you, it is amazing. So basically, the, I found this one online and I just put in all my stuff. Um, so I just want to, you know, make sure for both of them, they're pretty good about it, but this really helps them just keep on task. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's show you his schedule. And this is really from his choosing. Well, this I did, like, just to help them. Brush teeth, comb hair, um, do their prayer beads. He empties the dishwasher, sweeps the kitchen floor, makes his bed, and tidies, actually, my husband's office and before bed brush teeth and have a shower. So he checks this off. So we started on Saturday because I made these on Friday and then I can erase them. So today is Monday. So, and he gets up and does all this stuff, same as my daughter. She checks everything off. And because that we've done this for years and years, um, not this exact one, but some, uh, some form of this, since basically the kids are three um, this is Nanda's version of it. I put one on the fridge, so every time they're checking something off, he goes and colors his. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Um, so, you know, I've done a version of something like this every year. So this is what this year's is. Okay, so this is Nitch's school schedule and bedtime. This is Monday through Thursday because we are going to do Fridays off. Um, and, uh, and there's a weekend schedule, we, um, Nitch's weekend schedule. And so Nitch's school schedule is his bedtime is 10 p.m. And this is what he um, does in the day on a school day. So um, he does his japa, which is prayer beads for us, and makes an offering. And then we have an offering. We sing um, to, to God, to the Lord, and we read scripture. And then we have breakfast, and he has to have made sure all his things are done. But he does this a lot before we even have the offering. Empties the dishwasher, sweeps kitchen, makes bed, and tidies office, which is all on this chart, right? So then he checks it off when it's done. <clears throat> and then, today was Labor Day, so he didn't do school. Um, Nadia did check off her stuff as he ended up doing weed whacking instead when she did a bathroom, so. Um, anyways. Then they do lunch, lunch cleanup, and then after lunch, they read to us for like 15 minutes, and then they practice their music, um, guitar and piano. And then at 1.30, if they did not finish all their school from 9.30 till noon, they had from 9.30 till noon to do all their school, and most of the time they will not have it finished unless they're really on it that day. Um, then they have from 1.30 till 2.30 to finish their school, and that is plenty of time for them to get everything done. Um, and then at 2.30, if chores are done nicely, screen time allowed and free play. So basically they're done school at 2.30. And then um, this is kind of like our, our worship schedule. That's like our morning prayer, offering, and scripture. And then at lunch time, on the weekends, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at 10.30, instead of them having doing school, they will listen to a lecture and write an essay about the lecture. And at 
um, they'll read Krishna book to us. And then that evening, we make dinner and offer. And then every evening, we have a little chant again and read scripture. And um, yeah. And here is the weekends, like I was saying. So again, so the bedtime is later. His is 11. He is 11 on the weekends. And um, his bedtime is 11 on the weekends. And hers is 10 on the weekends. And her bedtime on the weekdays is nine and his is 10. He, uh, he did, he's not a great sleeper. And going to bed at 10 is, this is the first year we're doing this with him. And we'll see how it works out. Um, but Nadia, I'm still getting her to be, go to bed at nine. And I go to bed at like 7.30 with the baby. <laughs> um, anyway, so here we have Nadia's weekend schedule and niches. They're pretty much close to the same. Um, Let's see, so everything stays the same in the morning until they ha at 9.30 they have their weekend chores. And then their weekend chores are written in here. You can't really see them. So Friday, Nitya has to vacuum the entire house. Saturday, he washes the car and tidies the garage. And Sunday, he trims grass and does the pool maintenance. So, and when I tell you trim grass, yeah, like I was showing you early, we, earlier, we have, 30 acres out here, so he's got a lot of work to do. And we only have a weed whacker at this point, because, um, yeah, we do have a tractor coming, but um, anyways, that's a lot of work. So every Sunday, he'll be working outside doing that. And um, then, like I was saying, there's the they'll listen to a lecture and write an essay every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and lunch, lunch, clean up, and at 12.30, they'll read to us still and practice music. And then at 1.30, if their chores are done nicely, they can have screen time and free play for the rest of the day. And the same with Nadia, but I'll tell you her weekend chores is, on Fridays, she mops all the floors in the house. On Saturdays, she um, will help wash the car and tidy the garage with her brother. And on Sundays, she will clean, we have three like full bathrooms with bathtubs and everything, so she'll just do one bath, room a week so um yeah so my house stays pretty clean from all the kids and yeah they they really do all this it's quite it's quite something i'm amazed they um totally participate in making all the schedule happy birthday <laughs> school thank you that i got you those okay thank do you, you like that this is to write your little notes and so put it over there with your little note thing open your desk your mouse pad Put the trash in the trash, and that's your notebook. So everything you're going to write for school, like spelling lists and whatever, whenever you need paper, mm -hmm. like today you have comprehension checks in your science, so you need to write them in the notebook, okay? I don't even know what comprehension means. <laughs> I'll show you. Okay? Okay. Jen, happy first day of school, honey. Come on. Where is it? Here, look what I got you, sweetheart. Where's what? Your stickers. Look. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they they won't reach. Well, here. So anyways, I'm really excited to be back on YouTube, on my channel, on Chakra's Journey. And it's really nice. Thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel since I put up my last video since before I left Hawaii. Um, which is like last May, I think, or April. Was the last video I made so it's September now and I'm gonna be putting up a lot more videos and just showing you guys my homeschool and everything that I'm doing still and and show you our new house and so okay it's so nice to see you all again